Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Kranjians, welcome to Kranji Secondary School's Achievement Day 2021. I am Mansha. And I am Hui Tong. We are from 2K3. And we are your MCs for this E Achievement Day. Achievement Day celebrates the success of all staff and students, and it could not be more timely as we take bold steps to move back to normalcy. Now, let's invite our principal, Mr. Goh, to give the opening address. Good afternoon, Crunchers. It gives me great pleasure this afternoon to share with you our 26th Achievement Day. Before I start, I'd like to give special thanks to the following group. Our School Advisory Committee, Crunchy Alumni, the Parents Support Group, and staff of Crunchy Secondary, for which none of these achievements that we see today will be possible. I would like to take this opportunity to also congratulate the following. Our SAC member, Mr. Tan Xiao King, Vice Chairman for the Limbang CCC for being conferred the Public Service Medal. Ms. Natasha and Ms. Jennifer Teo for being awarded the National Day Commendation Medal and Madam Sundra for being awarded the National Day Long Service Award. Congratulations. The last 18 months had been difficult. As Crunchy Secondary rise to the occasion to manage the COVID-19 pandemic. Through these 18 months, we have seen our own breakthroughs in several areas, which includes a revised curriculum that has factored in home-based learning, e-learning, the PDLP, and at the same time, blended learning. We had also seen and taken the opportunity to revise and review our Applied Learning Program, or ALP, moving into design innovation for sustainable living. Through this, in spite of COVID, we have seen our students and teachers moving to forward and implementing our learning journeys at the Crunchy Marshes. We had also hosted several environment seminars and for our efforts at sustainable living, Crunchy Secondary was awarded the BCA Green Monk Gold Award. Our LLP had also continued serving the community and extending youth leadership for Crunchians. The Cyber Wellness Ambassador Program carried on and recently, we have seen another very successful e-leader day. Let us not also forget that while the borders have closed, Kranji Secondary innovated and our internationalization program to foster global awareness went into e-internationalization. For the last two years, we had international conferences with high school students from various countries, including the Philippines, Taiwan, Japan, and Sri Lanka. Congratulations students who have participated in the internationalization event, and I hope that experience had been an enriching one. All these students have been made possible with our partnerships, and we have taken great strides to have fostered partnerships with the Institute of Southeast Asian Studies, the Asian Studies Centre, Republic Poly, and not forgetting NPARCS, amongst other strong partners that we have. At the same time, 2021 saw our SYF groups, our national sports groups, and also our various academic clubs and societies carry on with competitions. Just to list some examples, the SSEF or the Singapore Science and Engineering Fair saw our Crunchians doing well in this prestigious event. And very recently, 
the inaugural F1 design competition. Congratulations, Crungeons. Carry on with excellence. And all this that I've just mentioned about our crunchy experience would not have been made possible without caring educators and friends. Good job, Crungeons. Now, the crunchy, the crunchy experience helps nurture the crunchy identity. I would like to spend some time commenting good performances that have clearly demonstrated our school values of respect, responsibility, resilience, compassion, integrity, and passion for learning. Just some examples, our St. John's Brigade undertook challenges and rose to the occasion when they participated in the virtual National Day Parade just recently. Our CCAs, especially the SYF and the National Schools Games sports groups, demonstrated resilience, overcoming odds and garnering success for themselves and the school. Let us not forget compassion. In the recent National Day speech that I've made, I rallied Crungeons to work a lot more on compassion, especially in such difficult times. I'm proud to say that during our Chinese New Year period, through the LLP, our Crungeons rose to the occasion and contributed to the migrant workers in Singapore. And all Crungeons definitely demonstrated our values of integrity and passion for learning with such drastic changes in curriculum and assessments given our adjustments to, to the pandemic. Last but not least, I would like to congratulate our award winners in the award ceremony that you watch later on whereby through the crunchy experience they have nurtured our identity of the thinker leader champion with that i would just like to wrap up of what's up for the school in the next couple of years while we have shifted back to this premise as early as november 2018 and we started the full year in 2019, 2020 and 2021 were very different years where all Singapore schools and in fact, all education systems around the world experienced the pandemic. But we have moved forward. We have introduced the PDLP, blended learning, and in 2022, Crunchy Secondary will be initiating and embracing the full subject-based spending, whereby our incoming SEC1 cohort will no longer see streaming and they will be enjoying subject-based spending that's extended to the humanities and also enjoying six subjects which are offered as a common curriculum. So Crungeons, sit back and enjoy the achievements and the award ceremony celebrate with your friends in particular i would like to congratulate stephen and tricia for being awarded the pinnacle award for crunchy secondary as our proud crunchy Crun uh, student of the year with that thank you very much and enjoy the award ceremony the progress and achievements made by the school would not have been possible without the commitment and dedication of teachers and staff. Today, we wish to acknowledge and thank them for their passion, hard work and dedication to our school. First, we will present the Kranji 5 Years Long Service Award. This award is given to teachers and staff who have served in the school continuously for the last 5 years. These are the recipients. Miss Peginong, Mr. Pravin, Madam Lim Chang Ching, 
Miss Ng Yu Chin, Miss Lisha, Miss Nurul Shafika, Mr. Sin Tzu Wei, Miss Cynthia Wong. Next, we have the Crunchy 10 Years Long Service Award. This award is given to teachers and staff who have served in the school continuously for the last 10 years. The recipients of the award are Miss Liu Jiaman, Madam Sahiba. Now, we have the Kranji 20 Years Long Service Award. This award is given to teachers and staff who have served in the school for the last 20 years. The recipient of this award is Miss Yong Siwi Chin. We will now present the MOE 5 Years Long Service Award. This MOE award is given to teachers and staff who have been in the service for 5 years. This award goes to Ms. Nurul Shafika, Ms. Nurul Naima, Vice Principal Mr. Ro Ka Hong, Ms. Ng Yu Jian, Ms. Risha, and Mr. Muhammad Shafiq. We will now present the MOE 10 Years Long Service Award. This MOE award is given to teachers and staff who have been in the service for 10 years. This award goes to Madam Xinping. Next, the MOE 15 Years Long Service Award. This MOE award is given to teachers and staff who have been in the service for 15 years. The recipients are Madam Stella, Dr. E. Y. Singh, Mr. Gray Hansen. Next, the MOE 20 Years Long Service Award is given to teachers and staff who have been in the service for 20 years. The recipients are Mr. Tail Yang Ho and Ms. Amy Ya. Next, the MOE 25 Years Long Service Award is given to teachers and staff who have been in the service for 25 years. The recipients are Madam Rosna, Mr. Christopher Thomas. The next award is our Vegadictory Letter. Our recipient is conferred this for her outstanding dedication and devotion to duty in her 25 years in MOE. The recipient is Madam Sundara. Next, the MOE 30 Years Long Service Award is given to teachers and staff who have been in the service for 30 years. The recipients are Mr. Ang Lee Kong and Mr. Zaino. We would now like to recognize members of staff who have been awarded the National Day Awards 2021. The recipients of the Commendation Medal 2021 are Miss Natasha and Madam Jennifer Teo. The recipient of the Long Service Medal 2021 is Madam Sundara. Congratulations to our National Day Awards 2021 recipients. We would also like to affirm the contributions of staff in the following MOE Outstanding Contribution Awards. The following teachers also received the MOE Service Excellence Award. We will now present the Kranji Colors Awards, which recognize outstanding CCA teams and individuals for their contributions and achievements. The first award is the Kranji Colors Award team. This award is given to CCAs for their outstanding achievement. The recipients are Kranji Chinese Dance Society, 
E and ELDDS Drama. Next, we have the Crunchy Colors Awards. Individual. This recognizes individuals for their contribution to the CCA. Class mentors, please present the awards to your students when their names appear on screen. The following students have achieved the Cronji Commendation Award for their outstanding performance. Class mentors, please present the awards to your students when their names appear on screen. Dion Lau and Romit Silva from 4K4 received the SPF and PCC badge. Latisha Go from 4K4 and Tio Hong Lok from 4K2 received the Commendation Award for their efforts in the SYF Online Art and Technology Exhibition. Chong Anya from 2K4, Xavier Tan and Hendrix Tan from 4K5 for their efforts in the 42nd International CB Paul Science Quiz. Now, we want to present the Crunchy Appreciation Award to ex crunchians or individuals who have contributed significantly to the school CCA. The recipients are Siu Chin Heng for MPCC and Go Wei Kian Frederick for St. John Brigade. Now, we will present the awards to our graduates from the 2020 cohort. First, we have the Punita Ramanan Book Prize. This book prize is donated by the family of great Mrs. Punita Ramanan, a former teacher, HOD, and vice principal of the school for 22 years. She believed that a student should have a love for learning that extends beyond the classroom and a genuine curiosity that ensures a holistic understanding of the humanities. Recipients of this award will not only show academic excellence, but also have a strong passion in the study of humanities. The recipients are Jason Jeremiah Ashley for N-Levels Humanities, Social Studies, Geography. Kwek Chi Xian Janelle for N Levels Humanities, Social Studies, History. Timothy Wong Cheng Wei for O Levels Humanities, Social Studies, Geography. Lim Yu Shu for O Levels Humanities, Social Studies, Geography. Wang Hui Xin Jenny for O Levels Humanities, Social Studies, History. Ho Sao Wai Brandon for O Levels Geography. Now, we have the School Advisory Committee Award for Outstanding Performance in the National Exams. The SAC Merit Award is given to students who have done well in the National Exams. These are the recipients from the Normal Technical course. They have achieved three or more distinctions in their N-Level examinations. Next, we have the recipients from the Normal Academic course. They have achieved at least an ELMAB3 aggregate of 10 in their N-Level examinations. Next, we have the recipients from SEC 4 and 5 Normal who took the O-Level exams. They have achieved at least an L1-B4 of 13 for SEC 5 students and a minimum of L1-R5 of 9 for SEC 4 students in their O-Level examinations.
Now, we have the SAC Distinction Award for Outstanding Performance. This is given for top performance in the national exams. The recipient from the NT course is Reni Ho Pei Ling. She obtained five distinctions in her N-level examinations. The recipient from the NA course is Ong Yang Ting Tami. She obtained an EL MAB 3 of 5 points with 6 distinctions in her N-level examinations. This year, we have 4 recipients in the Express course. All 4 recipients obtained an L1 R5 of 6 points in their O-level examinations. They are Celeste Ong, Chanel Marie D. Vera Ramos, Trisha Lo Chiu Xian, and Hong Tian Ying. Now, we have the Pinnacle Awards. These awards stand at the apex of all awards given out to recognize outstanding Kranjian. The first Pinnacle Award is the Outstanding Character Award. This is awarded to the Kranjian who is an exemplary role model of the Kranji Core Values, exhibited through various platforms. The Outstanding Character Award goes to Lim Yushu from 4K5. Next, we have the Outstanding Student Leader Award. This award is presented to a Kranjin who possesses exceptional leadership capabilities. The Outstanding Student Leader Award goes to Tolentino Krishen Dena Arban from 4K3. Finally, we have the Kranjin Award for the Normal and Express course. This is presented to the student who has shown outstanding performance at the national examinations and in CCA. The Kranjin Award for the Normal course goes to Stephen Phone from 4A1. The Kranjian Award for the Express course goes to Trisha Lo Chiu Xian from 4K4. We will now listen to the valedictory speech by Stephen and Trisha. A very good day to our PSG Chairman, Madam Ng Eileen, School Advisory Board, Mr. Ng Powa. Principal Mr. Goh, Vice Principal Mr. Thomas, Mrs. O, oh, Mr. Lo, teachers, guests, and fellow conjurers. I'm Stephen Fionniatu, and I'm from Class 401 of 2020. I'm honored to be here as the Kranjian Award Normal Course winner of Class 2020. Stepping into 2017 as a secondary one student, I was not as excited about school as my peers. I was very disappointed with my PSLE result. However, Site 1 orientation removed all that negativity. Despite it starting off very awkward initially due to the many fresh faces I'm seeing, I, also, I slowly managed to ease myself into the new school environment and forge relationships through icebreakers activities and conversations with my classmates. These relationships accompanied me throughout my four years in school. Until date, we still keep in contact with one another, even though we might be posted to different schools all across Singapore. Things started taking a twist to the extraordinary when I was appointed the class chairperson in SEC1 by Ms. Nadira. As a person who did not have such an opportunity before, it was nerve-wracking to say the least. It also forced me to step out of my comfort zone as I have never had a similar opportunity before. It helped that she consistently guided and re reaffirmed me at times when even I doubt myself. Through, uh, through these opportunities, I realized that I was capable of more as long as I dared to try and persevere at it. I slowly grew in confidence and managed to expand my roles and responsibilities outside of class to my CCA, MPCC, and even school's activity in SC. I remember reflecting in SEC4 on how fast time flew. A wave of emotions and thoughts swept through my mind when I started SEC4. I was worried about the upcoming N-levels as well as feeling upset just at the thought that my friends and I will be split across schools. What comforted me was the anticipation of events such as Cultural Fiesta Night, Kranji 25th Anniversary, and of course, the beloved graduation night. COVID-19 struck, everyone expected this viral outbreak to disappear in a few months, but still, look at us now. Physical lessons were replaced by virtual ones. Initially, HBO lessons were largely uncomfortable. I struggled staring at a computer screen for a long duration and also studying through a computer. But slowly, I also realized that it provided me with a good opportunity to be self-directed. For example, I was able to search the internet of CV templates. 
structures and research on what employers were looking up for in interviews. This allowed me to better complete my HBO task on CV writing. In my opinion, it enriched my learning and assisted me in, the, in my preparation for, ed, for the N-Levels exams as well as in the future. Despite, despite the multitude of things that did not go ahead as planned, my friends and I bonded through new experiences such as group calls on WhatsApp, just so that we could see each other and catch up. Also, when in school, having the opportunity to, to meet up and converse face to face, something I took granted for in the past, was now treasured. Though things did not go according to plan, I wouldn't change one single bit of my Kanji experience. My main takeaway from my whole education experience thus far is that one setback does not define me. It is normal to encounter setbacks, but it is what we do from that moment on that allows us to grow and develop as individuals. I am proud to be given the opportunity provided by Kanji. Due to the belief of my teachers and peers, I will not be the person I am today without them. For that, I wish to thank them. They played a big role in me coming to school. I am not able to thank everyone due to the lack of time, but I would like to mention a few. Madam Lim was my class mentor in 2019. I remember the length she went to help bond three one together as a class, as the class was not as cohesive as we could be. She was definitely also a class mentor who sparked joy in our CCE and P lessons. There are two MVP teachers worth mentioning. They are none other than Ms. Najira and Mr. C. I'm sure I will not be who I am today without them. They have been guiding me throughout my crunchy journey. I remember when they sat me down during an ICM session, during morning assembly to check in with me. We con conversed and talked about how to overcome the challenge I was facing. Without these two life mentors, my Kranji experience wouldn't be what it is like. Likewise, I'm sure my class echoes the same appreciation of their tutorship and guidance. On behalf of the class 2020, I would also like to take the opportunity to, opportunity to thank SEC 1 to 4 teachers who have molded us to be the individuals we are today. Our teachers in Kranji worked tirelessly for us to succeed academically. We can see how much they care about us. Thank you. To all other Kranjians, I hope you will enjoy your Kranji journey as I did. Do well for your upcoming national exams and leave the examination room knowing you have tried your best. Just trying your best will make your teachers proud. Remember, once a Kranjian will always be a Kranjian. Thank you and have a good day ahead. Hello everyone, and a very good afternoon to the Chairman of the School Advisory Board, Mr. Ng, Master Superintendent, Madam Shanti, our Principal, Mr. Goh, Vice Principals, Mr. Thomas, Mr. O, and Mr. Lo, PSG Chairperson, Madam Ng, Chairman of the Kranji Alumni, Mr. Chen, and our Kranji teachers. Most importantly, hello to all the Kranjians staring at my large face on the screen. Most of you probably don't know me. I'm Trisha, Class 4K4, from the class of 2020 Kranjians that graduated last year. And it really is an honour, and also a surprise, to be speaking as the Kranjian Award winner from the class of 2020. Now, a few weeks back, when Mr. Seed, my year head, told me that I had to give a speech to the current Kranjians, I wasn't so sure about how I could best address the student body. I mean, sitting through four achievement days made me realize that, like, if anything, my juniors will not relate to my crunchy experience. I don't know how I'll add any value to you, and I want to make this speech something that hopefully you guys will take something away from. So instead of narrating through my four years in crunchy, from the first day of orientation to the moment I left the school gates, just give me this time to share a little bit more about the lessons that I've learned. I'm a JC student now, and things are vastly different. It's only been six months, and I've been swept away with approximately like 10 plus commitments, excluding my academics. And sometimes I find myself increasingly losing control of my life. This doesn't only go for me, but for most of my batchmates, right, we're each going through major unprecedented changes in my life, in our lives. Sometimes I check up with like a few of my batchmates, and we all seem to agree that we didn't exactly cherish our years in Crunchy enough. And this is going to sound really cliche, but I think it's really true that we never really realize the value of things in life until it becomes a memory. I think the idea of like growing up and becoming an adult seems really thrilling to most of us in secondary school. For me, right, as early as my lower sec days, I was already contemplating the excitement of like leaving Kranji for JC. 
Back then, I was so caught up with progressing forward that I never really stopped to understand and appreciate how the people around me have shaped me into who I am today. To say that my four years was an emotional roller coaster is almost a given. There are going to be times where things obviously don't go my way, and I won't bore you with the unnecessary details, but in my final year in Kranji alone, I forged the most unpredictable relationships and also lost some of the people that mattered so much to me in my lower sec days. But what's most important, to me at least, is that if you ask me now to go back in sec 1 and relive my four years all over again, I would have lived the same life the exact same way. Now, if you are right now in sec 1, then yeah, maybe what I'm saying today will change your perspective towards the years ahead, and maybe you can live your next few years in Kranji without any regrets. But what if you are like sec 4, sec 5, and you're already running the last stretch? Maybe you've spent your past three years living frivolously, then isn't it too late for you? Last year, I witnessed firsthand a few of my friends turn into like miracle workers during the middle of the year. After three years of not taking themselves seriously, they seemed to receive this huge reality slap and decided to pull themselves together to work hard. Most of these people actually went on to meet their expectations at the end of N and O levels. I can't speak accurately on their behalf, but if I were them, I wouldn't regret these four years in Kranji since I actually managed to learn something. So no, leave Kranji without regrets isn't to be a model student. But it's about looking to the future and thinking, hey, after I graduate, would I regret not maximizing my potential during these four to five years? It's about saying confidently after you graduate that I would allow myself to make the same mistake, lose the same friendships, and make the same memories, living every day in these four years the exact same way that I did. What I'm trying to say here is this. How much time you have in Kranji, it really doesn't matter. The fact remains that there is still time. I can tell you all about my Kranji experience. I can tell you inspirational stories about my batchmates. But the Kranji experience just isn't the same for everyone. Many of you might be bogged down into thinking that Kranji is just your normal average secondary school. But now, after entering JC and mixing around with people from three different SEP schools, many of my batchmates can testify that there really isn't any culture that's similar to Kranji's. It isn't just the events like CFN or RHD, but it's about the culture. I don't think I'll ever be able to build such close relationships with my teachers who go the extra mile to motivate their students. And I don't think that I'll be able to have such personal relationships with any of my tutors in JC like I did with Kranji teachers either. I didn't realize how comfortable and at home I was in Kranji until I left for JC and how the school has effectively built up this warm environment where I truly felt like I belonged. After speaking for so much, what I truly have to say is this. Number one, make use of your time and maximize your potential. What do you want to see yourself become at the end of the journey? Do you want to become more confident or get good grades or do you want to influence the people around you? It differs across different people, but whatever it is, work towards it. Don't think of it as like setting a goal because it sounds very cliche, but rather how much you want to see yourself change and grow. Secondly, you know yourself best to really see how far you can push yourself to become a better person. And lastly, why do you want to do all this? Why does all this matter? Because it goes back to how you can confidently say after four to five years that eventually I did learn something and I did grow. It might have took me three years to finally understand the importance of growth, but I really did it and I really tried my best. Personally, I don't think I was the most consistent person during my four years either. I didn't have the most positive attitude towards school. But it was really thanks to a few of my teachers and friends who, through their guidance, was able to influence my perception, not just towards school, but actually towards life as well. So I would also like to take this time to properly thank a few of my teachers because I felt like I never had the chance to do that before. And disclaimer, this list is going to be a bit long. So firstly, for my sec 4 teachers, who for some reason didn't give up on 4K4, kept believing in our potential, kept pushing us, and kept telling us that we could actually do it so long as we tried. These teachers are Mr. Kat, Ms. Nat, Mr. Si, Ms. Yong, and last but not least, my class mentor, Ms. Miao Wong. Thank you so much to all of you for ever giving up on us because if it weren't for you guys who kept motivating us, I really don't think that most of K4 who we were today as people. Secondly, I want to thank my lit teacher for Insect 4, Ms. Peng, who was able to sustain my passion for literature all the way up to JC. And now I still really enjoy my lit subjects in JC right now. I also want to thank Mr. Tan Yang Kai and Ms. Sim for giving me the opportunity and freedom to lead MPT and conduct CCA sessions. I actually learned very valuable leadership skills 
few experimentation and thank you for giving me the freedom to sort of lead CCA lead the CCA in the way that I wanted it to. Lastly, no, not lastly. Thirdly, I want to thank the teachers who taught me in upper who didn't really teach me in upper sec, but I still remember to this day. So these teachers are Miss Bernadine Lim, Miss Regina Tham, and Miss Pagan Ang. All these teachers taught me in lower sec, but I think they are one of the most impartial and very genuine teachers and people that I've met in my life, and I will still remember them to this day. Lastly, I want to thank the two teachers who aren't in Kranji anymore, who taught me in lower sec and have consistently supported me from sec one and for pointing out my capabilities since I was young. These two teachers are Miss Lee and Miss Lee. So, throughout my whole four years in Kranji, not one of my teachers ever asked me to be a perfect student. And I'm very sure that for the current Kranjans, none of the teachers are actually asking you to become a model student either. They may joke about having like 1.0 MSG, but what they really hope to see is effort. All that you should expect from yourself, effort as well. So just try. I keep seeing juniors telling me that they can't make it for prelims, they can't make it for EOYs, but just try. You really don't know how amazing and influential that you can be at the end of the day without pushing yourself a little bit more, right? So, Make use of the time you have left, keep pushing, keep trying, and of course, enjoy the journey along the way. Regardless of how far you've come, I feel like this is the best piece of advice I can share with you today. Kanji experience, the big phrase you see up on the school banners, is really really up for you to define. With that, thank you and all the best. To end off Achievement Day 2021, let us all stand to sing the school song led by our own Kanji choir. Achievement Day 2021. We hope you all have a wonderful day and stay safe.